Hey everyone, I'm Anna Peters, Sandia Art Team member here today to talk to you about how to create a modern take on a curl set. By modern, I mean we're talking about different ways of creating volume at the base, how to take sections that aren't gonna leave hard lines and part lines in your style, and how to give a nice, more organic type of curl pattern using different size irons and different techniques. So, why do we do a curl set? Well, maybe it's to have a beautiful, nice wave pattern like this that's gonna last her all night long so you have that longevity, or maybe it's to create a beautiful up style for a special event, something like this. So let's dig in on how to modernize the classic curl set. All right, so coming over to the side here, again, we're wanting to create a modern curl set. And so what we're doing is through the side and through the crown, we're wanting to create some volume with our texture iron. Before we would go in, do the curl set, take all the pins out, and now get back to the base of the hair and try to start teasing it and backcombing it, really disrupting the curl that you just worked so hard to achieve. So we do the texture at the base first, the first inch or two, and then we're gonna go in with our two-in-one Marcel iron. And I'm using the one and a half inch here. I'm placing it in an on base type of volume. And as I bring those ends through, I'm just bringing them in real quick and then pulling out. And I'm going to let those ends kind of hang out by themselves when I go in to clip this curl. So using my Sam Via clips, I'm clipping there at the base and the ends are hanging out. That way we get a much looser curl through the ends, keeping it a little bit more modern with most of the curl through the base and mids. All right, so moving on to our next section, we're now gonna start moving in diagonal sections. Everything above the round of the head, it's going to help us to eliminate any of those hard part lines that we get sometimes after a curl set. You know what I'm talking about? You take out all the pins, you try to brush through it, and you just have these little cracks in your style that you're trying to get your fingers in there, massage them out, and again, just really disrupting your curl. So now we're gonna go in and we're going to use the texture iron at the base again. So this is a pretty wide section. So I'm gonna split this up a little bit. The more I put in the texture iron, the less texture I'm actually getting. So I wanna make sure that I take my sections and make sure that they're thin enough for us to work with. And I'm just applying that texture through that first inch to two inches of her base. So I'm gonna reach for our Artist Series 2-in-1 Marcel Iron, and this is now the one inch size. So I'm changing up the size of the barrels that we're using so that we can get a more organic, more modern end result. So as we go through and place this curl, really focusing that we have the diagonal direction mirroring our diagonal section with our iron, and then working those ends through. They're gonna sit in there the least amount of time, just a quick swipe through with those ends, and then I'm gonna let them hang out. And I'm going to only pin the middle of that curl, leaving those ends out. You can even tug on those a little bit if they look too curled for you. And then just sliding that clip right into the center of our curl. All right, now moving up to the top, we are going to divide this section in half so we can handle what's in our hand and what's in our iron. And I'm gonna split this right down the middle as well so I can place my texture iron there. Prepping the hair with the iron shape from Redken so that we have that heat protection, that memory, going in with our texture iron and just creating about an inch or two of texture 
at her root area. There we go. Now we are going to use our larger iron. So combing through our section, making sure that I'm on base with my curl because I'm trying to create the most volume as I work up the head. Picking up our two-in-one Marcel iron in the one and a half size. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create an on base curl. Really focusing the heat through that base and mid area of the hair and just barely getting those ends through at the last minute. Holding that, letting the ends hang out, and then we're gonna clip those in place. And I'm gonna just continue doing this all throughout the head. Now when we get to this front area, we're going to look at this straight on. And as you could tell, we have a triangle section here. We're gonna have this style actually moving over to the side with this deep side part. So this triangular section, I would like to have lots of volume and a movement moving to the, to the right side of her look. So with this triangular section, we're gonna go in and we're gonna diagonally take partings throughout that triangle. So going in, making sure we're at a diagonal. This will allow us to move to the side or sometimes we like that nice brushed out wave right there in the front and this will help with that as well. Going in with our iron shape at the base and then taking our texture iron, just really heating up, creating all that volume in there at the base. I'm gonna use our Marcel one and a half inch through her front triangle so that we have a softer amount of wave here. So I'm wrapping forward in these diagonals so that I could kind of have this drop down and cover one of her eyes, just kind of really creating a very romantic version of the side swept bang. So everything will move across the face this way. Going in with a diagonal forward. We're going to clip this hair out of our way. It's really important we stay focused on our game plan and that we don't get lost in the chaos of all the hair. So I love our Sanvia clips and how well they are with isolating that hair and not leaving any dents in the hair. It's a horrible feeling when you're doing a curl set and you go to take the clips out and there's hard lines on all your beautiful curls you just work so hard to create. So with our Sanvia clips we have this nice little rubber band that's right here at that base. And that's going to eliminate any of that hard line from happening, but also it's going to give it a ton of grip. So I actually love using these instead of some of the metal pin clips that I've used before. And I'm using the one and a half inch size Marcel iron through here. getting a much softer curl through her front side swept area. I want a nice loose big wave. Clipping that into place and our last section of this front piece always using our Redken Iron Shape to prep and protect the hair, as well as to give it a lot of memory. 
and then we're going to go in. Texture iron first. This is just eliminating the need for us to go back and back comb at the base to create volume. When we do that, sometimes it really can disrupt the curl pattern and your curls start getting really frizzy and you lose all of that beautiful curl that you work so hard to create. So now going in, last curl through this front, side swept wave area with our one and a half inch Sambia two in one Marcel. We're using it in the Marcel form. And just barely getting those ends in there, just real quick so they don't heat up too much. And then we're going to just clip this with the ends hanging out. So you can see we have our ends out. Everything else is clipped and setting. So allowing the curls to cool off in that shape is gonna give you so much more longevity and the ability to really rake through that, brush through it, but still have the curl pattern that you're looking for. All right, so now we're gonna move back to this top back crown area. And this is an area where we sometimes find a lot of cowlicks or changes in direction in the curl pattern and the hair type. And so what happens here is usually we just split it down the middle and would have two curls. But what happens with that is again, you have a really hard line that you're trying to cover up at the end and really massage that hard line out. Again, disrupting all that curl and all that hard work that you put in. So what I found to help a lot is when we go in with a diagonal through this top area, now these curls will sit on top of each other in a very soft, natural way. So I'm gonna get this hair out of my way and work with this bottom section first. It's pretty wide, so I'm gonna split this up so I can put my texture in at the base. my texture iron and we're gonna go in at the base really getting that texture all the way through there I love how this gives such a nice full but more natural effect afterwards than the teasing can sometimes we put in all that teasing and then we're trying so hard to cover it up and meanwhile, you just keep combing it and it keeps falling out. So we're trying tons of hairspray. It can kind of get messy sometimes. So using the texture iron at the base has really helped us to just have that built-in grip and volume. Again, we're leaving those ends out. We're just curl clipping right there at the base. Next section, we're using our texture iron. Going in and through this crown, I'm just using the larger one and a half inch size iron so we don't have too much curl up there at the top of the head. Maybe you want more curl, you can use the one and a half inch for a tighter amount of curl. Just barely getting those ends through there before pulling the iron out and clipping that hair to cool. This is a great thing to do for your brides who want their curl to last, maybe they want their hair curled and they want it down. And we've all had that struggle where you go in with the curl set and you don't clip them, you just go in with your irons, you do these beautiful curls and waves and you start to brush through to soften it and it's pretty much straight by the end of that. Maybe they have hair that doesn't hold curl well. So this will really help to give you that 
longevity by setting those curls in their shape so that it allows for them to cool. Go. All right, go on in with the texture iron. And this work, putting in the work ahead of time really helps to get the end result that you're looking for and to eliminate the, the struggle of curl falling out and what do you do then? You have to start all over. So putting in this little bit of extra work helps so much for that longevity of those curls and the ability to work with them and then last all night. We're keeping this on base all throughout her curl set. I'm going to take a clip from one of these guys. All right, and our last section. Trying to get in here so you can see. We're going in texture first at the base. Texture is straight up from the head right now as we're on top of her head, trying to create the most volume. Going in now with one and a half inch. Letting those ends hang out. All right, so here we have the finished curl set, and this is a modern take on it. So by modern, we mean we're seeing a lot more of a natural kind of play on textures where the ends aren't as curled as much, the volume's more in a natural state, not so teased at the base like we typically would do with a curl set and in styling it, and we have variations in curl size as well. So we went in with diagonal sections so that the hair can lay naturally over each other. We don't have any hard lines. We went in with the texture iron at the base to give it a natural volume instead of having to go in and tease the hair after you've already created the curl. And then we went in and varied the curl iron size using our one and a half inch Samvia 2-in-1 Marcel or the one inch size. So this is gonna give us a really nice play on different types of wave and, and sizes of those waves. So I'm gonna take all these clips out and I'll be right back. So after we've taken out all the clips, we're going to ha have a little fun here and get to really brush through this curl set. Don't worry, you have done everything right so far to where you can actually brush through, you're not gonna lose all your curl and you'll be able to really shape and style the hair now how you like. I'm gonna start with our Artist Series Polishing Paddle Brush, and I love the amount of shine and grip that I get with this. So I'm gonna be able to really brush through this hair, getting all the way to the root and the base area, and it gives such a nice finish to the hair as well. So going all the way to the back area, and just give it a nice, brush through all throughout before you start really playing with the hair and getting it to lay how you like. After that, I'm gonna pick up my Artist Series Finishing Brush and I'm gonna give a little bit of spray now. So I'm using Redken's Triple Take and I love this because it's the strongest hold but it's going to still be flexible soft and not crunchy. So now I could go in and really start seeing how do I want this hair to move across her face. So going in and if you see something you like, you could just go in and place a little clip there to hold that in place while you continue around finishing the rest of the hair. 
I'm using the Artist Series finishing brush now because it doesn't dig all the way through the style like the Artist Series polishing paddle will with its pins that it has. This is just the soft floor bristle and it gives it a really nice soft finish. And you can see also that we have all this volume still here at the base. We haven't had to go in and tease. Now if I was gonna move this into an up style, that's gonna help me so much in creating grip for my pins as well as volume. So just brushing through and just finding how you want the hair to lay. Especially around the face. Finishing it off with a spray. Okay, and then just going in now and removing any clips that you have placed there. And that's our modern take on a curl set. Remembering building that volume from the get-go with our texture iron at the base is going to really help to build that natural volume, not having to go in, disrupt your curl, and create a bunch of teasing there. And then also leaving those ends out when you do your curl set is going to give it a little bit more of a relaxed, more modern feel. And really remembering to take those diagonal sections is going to help so much in eliminating those hard lines that you get those hard part lines when you're doing a curl set. So whenever you're wanting to have longevity with your curl and something that you could continue to work with, whether it's down or moving it up into an up style, I highly encourage you to try the modern take on this curl set. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Anna Peters with Sambia Art Team.